My name is Emma Makepeace from A Tribe of Dreamers and today joining me in this episode of Bite Size Yoga is the lovely Melissa from Melissa Elvery Remedial Massage and we are talking all things rollers. So, if you've never used a roller before, they are amazing, they can hurt, but they're yes. really great for just releasing your muscles without the need. Without the need to perhaps go for a massage. So if it's just something minor, you can fix it at home yourself or help release it at home yourself. Yeah. So, Melissa, explain to me, what have we got here? Uh, so, this can be used for back and some people can use it for the feet as well. So, um, plantar fasciitis can help break up all of that inflammation. These big rollers are great for legs and back just to really relax everything off. Um, so this can be used for either side of the spine as well. And then this one's probably my favourite. So it's got little movable rollers in here. So that can be used for legs and lower legs specifically. This is what I use for me. So minimises my need to go get treatments as well. As much as I love them. But yeah. yeah, we don't want to put anyone out of a job, but this is just for maintenance in between treatments as well. Yeah. So you can do this daily at home to support just getting a bit more out of your body. Yeah. Yeah. And self care. Yeah, that's it. All right. So why don't we demonstrate how a few of these work yep. so that if you've never used them before, you can do that. And you know, they're super simple to get. You can get things from your local physio or your local sort of shops. This was just from Kmart, yeah. um, you know, so super easy to get. This um, one's from Aldi. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, you know, there's heaps of ways that you can get them. eBay, online, yeah. um, there's lots of places. It's super easy to get them. So, yeah. all right, well, we'll get started and show you how to use them. Okay, so this one, Emma's rolling her quads. So at the moment, the muscles are shortened. So it's more of a nice gentle roll. We're using a nice soft one as well. So it's not as hard or firm. Um, there are ones as well that have more of the serrations. So that can make it a little bit harder and more intense. So if you've never used it, go with the soft one. At least to warm up and yes. then move your way up once your body's warm. Yeah, slow progression. So what Emma can also do is just bend at the knee if she's ready to lengthen the muscles even further. Feel the difference? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so because I do so like yoga all the time, it doesn't mean that I'm naturally stretchy and yeah. that my muscles are lengthened. Anyone who does any kind of activity or no activity or no activity, <laughs> they will shorten up when you stop moving and you get cold again. So yeah. rolling is super important for everyone. It's really good. All right. So, what are some other ways that now that my quads are nice and oh, yeah, done, what are some other ways that we can use these? So I'll probably just go through this one because yep. we don't have a full floor space. Oh, sorry. No, you're right. Um, so this one can be used for hamstrings as well. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to put one leg up, you can go underneath. And then you can pull it up as much as you want to get the resistance yeah. and firmness. And so you could also use this, like, could you do along the side yeah. on the ITB? Because yeah. I know for a lot of people that gets... Yeah. really tight if you've had like knee injuries or things like that so. yeah so yeah either side of the legs quads still <laughs> down here yeah so one thing I like to do with that one is just come to an edge a little bit and let the heel drop just to get that extra length of muscle and just really like roll it out and relax it Alrighty, so that's pretty 
awesome because you don't have to have any oh I've cut my head off you don't have to have any body weight on that um so that's really cool um and same with like this is really really soft so easy to use and especially when you can put both legs on it it's heaps easier um than having to try and do one leg at a time so then we come to things like these serrated edge ones now how can we use those so what yeah so if you're using this on your back you try and put your spine in the in the middle of the groove <laughs> a bit hard to see back from back there um, and you can just place this up against the wall on your back ah, and then just squat into it oh, and roll it down easier. yeah oh wow just make sure that your walls a bit firm I have had some people say that they've then put dints in the wall so All right. well, softly why don't we give <laughs> this one a go against a tree sure we can do that. All right. So we've got our roller, we're going to pop it against our hard surface here, get my spine in the centre. I'll probably put it lower down, lower because down. when you squat into it, it's going to oh, roll yeah. up, okay. unless you want to do upper back. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, alright. Yep. Okay. And then just... Yeah. How's it feeling? Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I have to get back up though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you do find that you have trouble getting back out of a squat, just have like a stool or something at the bottom, so you've got something to kind of catch you. Yeah. And then get up and then go again. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, so nice. The other thing is, like, you can use this on the floor, but again, you're gonna have all of your body weight over it, and so. That could get a bit painful, especially if you're really tender or inclined. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. So and choose, if you've never done it before. <laughs> yeah. So choose, you know, listen to your body. Choose what works right for you. Right. So thanks heaps, Melissa, for going through how to use some rollers with us. These are amazing for use in just after your yoga practice, after you've done any form of exercise. Maybe you've been at work all day, sitting in a chair, and everything has shortened up. So grab yourself a roller and give it a go. Um, Melissa, where can we find more from you? To... Yeah, so I've got my website, melissaelvery.com.au, or I've got a Facebook page, Melissa Elvery Remedial Massage Therapist. And you can find all the details in the, link, in the links below. Um, so if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you give us a thumbs up and comment and look forward to seeing you again next time on Bite Size Yoga.